This is the Talus KA. Talus was a company that was founded in 1911 in Germany in the town of Rastatt, which is a small town in the south of Germany on the border with France. They made Odner pinwheel types type of machines uh, all the way until the 19, mid 1960s and they were very successful and very good quality. In about 1953 they decided to come up with this which is a cheaper adding machine the KA that stands for Klein Adir Maschine, small adding machine. And it has quite an unusual mechanism. Uh, the keyboard here, if, uh, if you press a digit, all the, di all the buttons below it for the lower digits, they get pressed as well. This is because these digits are uh, essentially overlapping, as you can just about make out. And to add the number you've entered to this register, you have to press this big lever. What, what happened is that this uh, register gets pulled along underneath the keyboard and then returned to the front. And as it does so, these wheels interact with pins that are underneath these buttons. When you press a button, each button has one pin underneath it, so if you press the 5 button, all, all five pins of all these buttons below it move into the path of this digit which therefore then adds a five when the wheel moves underneath it. On the return journey the, the register is, is, goes on a slightly uh, lower level and misses all the pins and that's also when the tens carry is, um, is performed. On the, when it's at, at the back, uh, what also happens is that the keyboard is reset. But you can also uh, reset the keyboard manually with this, this lever here. If you uh, want to clear the register, you press this small lever on this side. And uh, this button, this is uh, it says R for repeat, and uh, if you do if you do that, then the keyboard is not cleared after you've when you press the, the big lever. This way you can do small multiplications just by adding it several times. There is no provision to actually shift the input or the register, so you can't really do multiplications with higher numbers. What you can do, however, is subtract, and you flip this switch, and what that does is it shifts the whole keyboard to the left. What, what's happened is that now the, uh, the pins are moved into the path of, these of the register, but only the, actually the pins that haven't been pressed. So now when you press a button, the, the pins of these buttons actually move out of the way of the register. There's also uh, a row of nine pins for this, uh, this extra digit and one extra pin in this path to, to make it the tens complement rather than the nines complement. So if I uh, subtract 24, there you go, 24 gets subtracted. Earlier versions of this machine had uh, a small counter here, two digit counter, that uh, counts the number of times you've uh, added or subtracted. And uh, yeah, it had a clearing wheel for that up here, and it, instead of a lever it would have a, a clearing wheel here for the main register. But um, yeah, eventually that was uh, replaced with, uh, with this uh, slightly simpler version. The older version also allowed you to uh, attach this the big lever on the left side instead of the right, but now that we have the clearing lever on this side, they've uh, dropped that option. So that was the Talus KA. Thank you for watching.